Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Envy Soap Works. A long time no see, it feels like. I haven't made soap in a couple of weeks. Um, last weekend I had a show, so I didn't make any um, soap. It feels like it's been a really long time. And I know that my um, video posting has kind of been, you know, kind of sparse lately. But hopefully I can get back on track. I do have videos that um, are lined up and ready to go. So I'm going to try to get back to my regular schedule. Now, today I'm going to be doing a fragrance that is going to be scented in cashmere and cotton. This is a Wholesale Supplies Plus fragrance. It smells wonderful. Um, and I'm making that one because I just sold out of my um, clean cotton um, bar. I actually had that. It was a slow seller. So I put it in clearance, and of course clearance, you know, is gone in the first day or two that I posted up there, but darned if I didn't hear back from every person who um, got that bar and they absolutely loved it and asked, two of them asked if I was going to have that in my store anymore. Now I don't have that particular one anymore, um, but I'm going to go ahead and try uh, this one. So again, it's cashmere and cotton. Now it doesn't have any vanillin in it, but I did read on a few of these reviews that as soon as uh, people added it to their batter, it turned like neon yellow. And they freaked out, but the next day when they looked at it, it was more of kind of like a creamy tan color. So I can live with that. Um, let me go over what I'm going to do for colors here. So the first color that I have is Sparkle Green. It's a beautiful kind of teal green. This is from Micah's and More. And um, then I have also their Luster Blue. This is just a nice medium, um, very shimmery blue. So that, um, those are my cool colors that kind of, you know, represent the cotton. And then the cashmere part made me think of warmer colors. So I have here a nice um, pink. And this is called Champagne Mica. This is Micah's and more. All of these um colorants today are micas and more. So that is the combo. I'm going to do two kind of warm colors, two kind of cool colors, and I'm going to do some sort of a hanger swirl, I believe, today. Now this is my normal um, recipe that I use. It is olive palm coconut, avocado oil, babasu oil, um, shea butter, argan oil, and castor. My additives are um, goat milk powder, kale and clay, and I will be adding goat milk as I, um, you know, emulsify this. So I'm going to get my additives whipped up. And I'm going to go ahead and get my lye in. I'm soaping at room temperature. My lye water is a little bit hotter than my oil. So hopefully that won't make um, a problem or make a difference. So I'm just going to scrape it down. I want to get it all out. So I'm hoping that um, this isn't going to turn my batter yellow like <laughs> some of the reviews said. It wasn't all of the reviews, but, you know, there was definitely more than one who said that that was something that happened. So we shall see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this emulsified and add my uh, coconut milk as I do. Okay, so that's looking pretty good right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and scrape this down. And then I will, um, I saw some light water splashes up on my shaft here. Get that off. And then we'll get split up for the colors. I think it's a, a very pretty color combo. I think it's going to um, have like a very soothing look in the soap.
All right then, so that's a nice um, little combo, I think. I do like that. I, I like this um, champagne color a lot more than I thought I did. So I think this is going to be a very pretty um, combination for this fragrance, cashmere and cotton. Now, the moment of truth. Let's see how much this um, changes my white batter into neon yellow batter. If the... Uh, if I'm going to have the same experience as some of the other people who used this. So, and there were also a couple people that uh, mentioned ricing. So let's, let's see what happens here. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and whisk it in just because this is an awful lot of batter. I've already stick blended it um, quite a bit getting the TD in. So I'm just going to go ahead and whisk in the fragrance there goes the yellow it sure is it sure is i've had this happen to me a couple of other times with other um, fragrance oils and it does go away it doesn't stay yellow like this oh wow look at it it's like lemon lemon pudding <laughs> You know what? It's not ricing, and it that smells very nice. That is a nice, clean, beautiful fragrance. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get it into the rest of the batter here. everybody so um, this one is definitely one to accelerate my batter has become um, really quite thick so I'm gonna go ahead and um, change the plan that I had for this one and instead of doing it in my tall and skinny I'm gonna go ahead and do it in um, this one here and I'm gonna do kind of a layered type and then I will do a hanger swirl so it's like the consistency of pudding the, um, the, the colors are really thick, like really, really gloppy. So this got so really I just kind of spooned it in and did um, 
like sort of a layered thing. Now I'm debating whether I want to do a spoon swirl with this one or um, a hanger swirl. You know, I rarely do spoon swirls. Rarely. So I have um, this long spoon here. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me make sure you guys can see. So I'm just going to go in and do a little swirl. Very pretty colors. I do like the way that this turned out. So I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to go on back this other way. Okay, so that's very pretty. I think I'm going to like this soap. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bang this down very quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, complete the top that I um, have all these uh, colors left. So let me bang this down. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and load up all of these colors that I have left. Now because this um, fragrance oil was so yellowing, it kind of made my blue and my uh, green teal look like the same color. So um, they're very similar right now with the yellowing. So hopefully tomorrow um, the colors will kind of come back. My pink turned more of like an orange kind of salmon color so it definitely had an effect on the way that um, my colors look together but <clears throat> like I said hopefully tomorrow they will come back to a more you know true true shade and hopefully that yellow will uh, go away as well now add some of the white that I have Okay, so I have everything down into the mold. I got everything scraped in and um, the yellow in the base is already kind of going away. I can see, um, I can see it leaving. So, like my white is whiter, my pink is coming back. I can see a good difference between uh, my teal and my blue. So maybe it's not going to be that much of a problem after all. So, um, I'm just going with a little toothpick here on the top. It's already pretty, um, it's already pretty firm. It's setting up quick. So I just did a quick, um, you know, diagonal this way and then diagonal the other way. Gives it a very beautiful feathered look. I will zoom in so you guys can see. I'll try to get like an overhead angle there. So that is how the top looks. I'm not going to mess with it. I like that a lot. I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll see how this spoon swirl turned out. See you in a sec. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. I'm getting ready to cut into cashmere and cotton. I gotta say this fragrance has really stunned me. I'm not a huge fan of the cotton or laundry scents, but this one it is something special. It definitely has that, you know, clean cotton smell, but then the cashmere part of it, um, it just adds something just absolutely wonderful. So this is one I would definitely try. It does accelerate as you saw, but it's it definitely workable. So for this one, um, the top I adore. I absolutely love the way the top turned out. The texture, um, because it was thicker is just, it was perfect to get a very beautiful textured top. And I'm also extremely happy um, with the color choice that I have here. So now this one, I did a spoon swirl. I'm not the biggest fan of the spoon swirl. It's very rare that I will even do a spoon swirl. So, um, and the reason is because I just don't really care for them. Um, it's very rare that I get a spoon swirl that I'm happy with. So 
I'm really hoping that this is one that I am happy with since this um, uh, the top is beautiful and the fragrance is really beautiful I would like for it to be <laughs> a nice pretty bar of soap as well so let's check it out all right so far so good I am I do love the colors and the pattern there is okay it's not terrible pretty colors Let's see what else we get as we get a little bit deeper in. Now this one, like as I said, and you guys saw, it really wanted to thick up um, pretty, pretty instantly. As soon as I started mixing it in, it really got thick. I'm not used to that. Normally when I soap, my batter is um, very fluid. So I that's why I decided to do a spray. A spoon swirl because I just you know wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with a thickened batter I do like the way that it's um, turning out Ooh, the other side look at how pretty that is pretty so yeah this is um, one of the few spoon swirls that I've done that I'm actually happy with I really wish you guys could smell this fragrance. I would, um, even though it's an accelerator, it's not, like I said, it's not too bad of an accelerator. I would definitely get this one again just for the fragrance. Just for the fragrance. I could definitely handle a little bit thicker batter than I'm used to. I'm pretty happy with the, oh, that's pretty. I'm pretty happy with this spoon swirl. It's a big surprise. Normally, I'm very unhappy with the way um, that they look, but looks like this time I got lucky. This one is really neat. So far, the fragrance is nice and strong. I think this color combo is spot on, just spot on for the fragrance. I'm glad that I picked the colors that I did. And I'm actually kind of glad that it thick that it did thicken up on me. It kind of forced me to do something a little bit different than I would normally do. I got a beautiful top with a texture that I would not normally get. That's very pretty. Oh, I like it. Wow. I think this is the favorite, my most favorite um, spoon swirl that I've um, gotten to date. The way that I did it, I was just kind of spooning it in in layers. I've never done it that way. So um, if I ever get another thick batter again, I know that I can get a good spoon swirl that way. This is a pretty one. And the top. Oh, I love the top. I was so happy this morning when I saw it and it did not have any or very little soda ash on it. <clears throat> I did spray the top with um, rubbing alcohol and it, it kept the kept the soda ash at bay because it's a real pain in the butt to um, steam like a really textured Tops. It seems like really hard to get the soda ash off all the way. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we'll get this up here. This is the last piece in the end. I'll trim that off <clears throat> later. But yeah, I'm really actually um, very happy with the way that this soap has turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.